pie. Pride, tradition, passion. Be proud of who you are and what you are. Be pie. When they face adversity, plant their feet, take a brace, hit them right in the jaw, and say, bring it on. Want some, get some. ECU Athletics and U.S. Cellular present The Ruffin McNeil Show. The Ruffin McNeil Show is brought to you by U.S. Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of the ECU Pirates. Well, they only one, two, three. And now, the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. Welcome to the Ruff and McNeil Show. Coach Ruff will join us in just a couple of minutes and we'll have highlights from the game with Virginia Tech. Brian Bailey also drops by our pirate profile with quarterback Blake Kemp. Also coming up in the Strength and Conditioning Center, Coach Jeff Connors with another segment of Camp Connors. And then a look ahead. Pirates are going back on the road again to Dallas to take on SMU in an AAC game next Saturday. Hang in there with us. Ruff joins me right after this. The Ruff and McNeil Show is brought to you by U.S. Cellular. With 4G LTE from U.S. Cellular, you can post, text, and stream from the middle of anywhere. There are many sides to basketball star and fashion icon Russell Westbrook. And with coverage in the middle of anywhere from U.S. Cellular, you can find some new ones. Like farm. Brussels, Brussels. Brussels speaking. Paleontologist. Hashtag T-Rex. Park Ranger. Where am I? And TV spokesperson. That's my life. I got it. With you a cellular, you can do all the things you like. From the middle of anywhere. That is my line. You've built wealth by traveling your own path. Investing in the strength of your ideas. Capitalizing on the best in you. At bb and Wealth, we understand your passion for what you do and your vision for what you'll do next. That's why our experienced advisors create the financial plan that works at every step of your journey sharing more than 140 years of knowledge to give you the power to make the best decisions and to continue sharing knowledge of your own. bb and Wealth, sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. People ship all kinds of things. But what if that thing is a few hundred thousand doses of flu vaccine? That need to be kept at 41 degrees. While being shipped to a country where it's 90 degrees. In the shade. Sound hard? Yeah. Does that mean people in Laos shouldn't get their vaccine? We didn't think so. From figuring it out to getting it done, we're here to help. If you could download 25 songs in one second, you'd listen to more new music. If you could download a TV episode in two seconds, you'd watch more hit shows. If you could download an HD feature film in just 42 seconds, you'd see more great movies. And if you had powerful one gig speed from Sunlink, you'd be more connected than anyone. Announcing one gig internet only from Sunlink. More power to you. If I give you this Bud Light, are you up for whatever happens next? Yes. The perfect beer for making memories in the middle of the night that become even better stories the next day. This is really happening to me. Like, let me pinch myself. It seems unreal. Are you serious? <laughs> Meeting Rhonda, I have no words for it. This is where you want to be at, and I'm here. That's crazy. Anything that you want, you dream it, you can have it. Anything can come true. One more rep. One more practice. One more game. One more pass. One more kids. One more yard. One more tackle. One more first down. One more interception. One more touchdown. One more win. One more moment to shine. The American Football Championship, it all comes down to one. Today's highlights are presented by Lenore Memorial Hospital. It's my hospital. Ruff joins us now, and Ruff, I know you got soaked, but I bet it was worth every drop, wasn't it? It was. It was. Uh, uh, it was tough weather, but what about our fans staying, staying right the game? And uh, but it was good, great to get a win. You know, we had two 
tough losses and the city kids fall down about 14 early and hang in there and bounce back and find a way to win. I was very proud of them. You know, you've been looking for that feeding frenzy we've been talking about. Offense yeah. playing off, yeah. the defense, defense, offense. I think we saw some signs of that in this yeah, game. Yeah, we saw it. Now, and you pointed it out. We talked about that all week, you and I. And, um, I think that's going to be – I not think – I know it's going to be very key. And through three games, you know, that's the first part of our season, first quarter, I, I saw that. You know, we played top competition. And against that kind of, and even in the conference, it's going to be tough. Mm -hmm. uh, that freedom and frenzy, what we call it, will be definitely needed. So we saw some, some signs tonight. Let's roll now those first half highlights. 50,512 in the stands, a sellout crowd on a rainy Saturday afternoon, and rough. the Pirate fans were really there, weren't they? Oh, yeah, I was excited about the crowd. The kids were, too, just to be home, and what a great environment, and uh, especially with the weather conditions. Uh, great fans, second in the... And not an ideal start for the Pirates as uh, Blake Kemp's pass is intercepted by Stroman, and then Edmonds gets a call up the middle, gets a touchdown. Virginia Tech goes up 7 to nothing, and then another turnover here by the Pirate offense, and then a pass complete in the end zone from Motley to Malik, and Ruffy kind of blinked, and all of a sudden it was 14 nothing Hokies. Yeah, I mean, they start off a good start, and we want to start fast, and it uh, uh, didn't happen. So now the Pirates come back, and uh, Blake Kemp, boy, I'll tell you, he was resilient, wasn't he? He comes back here and hits Bryce Williams for 14. Uh, Blake's a calm customer and very confident and a gamer, Lincoln called him. And it was good. It didn't surprise me that Blake came back and, and let us down. Uh, I, I expected that, and, and he does too. And then Blake gets a pass complete here to Davon Grayson for 14 yards, and then he ran the ball effectively. Rough, he takes this one in on the quarterback keeper for the touchdown. Yeah, Blake comes from a wing tee offense, high school, and he started our passing game uh, offense uh, in junior college. So uh, we knew he had some running ability. So the Pirates uh, bounce right back. It's 14-7, to then East Carolina gets another drive with three minutes to go in the first quarter. And how great was it to see Trayvon Brown, number 88, back out there. This one goes for 19 yards. Well, just good to see Trayvon and how well he gets along with the rest of the kids, and the kids were happy to have him back, too. Trayvon and Davon. This one goes to Davon Grayson for 15 yards. Boy, he's been consistent all year, hasn't he? Yeah, Davon's uh, one of our special players, along with Isaiah and Bryce. He, he's right. He's a big-time player for us, and he's been consistent all year, like you said. And then Trayvon Brown gets uh, the touchdown pass. He scored a touchdown against Virginia Tech last year. Another one here, and you look up. The Pirates have a couple of touchdowns on the board at the end of the quarter. It's a 14-14 ball game. We go now to the second quarter, and James Summers comes into the game rough, and on a third and nine, he goes 15 yards here for the first down. Yeah, good job by James. Uh, good read by James on, on the zone read. The same uh, call that Blake had, but I was proud of James coming in and getting that first down. And then he can show you how he can throw the ball as well. This one goes to Quay Johnson. You keep telling me Quay's getting better every week in practice. Yeah, proud of Quay. Quay. He's really grown and uh, plays a freshman. And, and uh, that's why I don't believe in red shirt and play him. And I was proud of Quay. Uh, great toss by James. And then James Summers with a quarterback keeper. This one goes for 24 yards. He's running all over the Hokies here. And then he takes this one up the middle for a touchdown. And the Pirates go up by the score of 21 to 14 at halftime. We'll be right back with more on the Ruffin McNeil Show, sponsored by Suddenlink. One gig speed from Suddenlink is here. Stream, share, and game like never before. Sudden Link, more power to you. Right now at Pizza Hut, you can get any two medium pizzas for $6.99 each. Choose any crust, any sauce, any toppings. So go for it, America. Get any toppings, any crust flavor, anything you want on any two medium pizzas for just $6.99 each. Only at Pizza Hut. From North Carolina's leader in distance education, a degree from an established university, an opportunity for a brighter future, a real option for adult learners, East Carolina University. Four by fours, of course we love them. They're not just transportation, they're freedom machines. They take us where other vehicles can't. So when you want that liberated feeling, come to our store. Phelps Chevrolet in Greenville, You'll find the vehicle you want because we have a large selection, and you'll find the price and financing you want too. Most of all, you'll find the customer service you want. Phelps Chevrolet in Greenville. Come in and get you one. Come in today or see us on the web. 
Right now at Pizza Hut, you can get any two medium pizzas for $6.99 each. Choose any crust, any sauce, any toppings. So go for it, America. Get any toppings, any crust flavor, anything you want on any two medium pizzas for just $6.99 each. Only at Pizza Hut. Memorial Hospital, we take health care personally. When it comes to you, we sweat the stuff. Because while you're not our only patient, we think there's no reason it can't feel that way. When you need us, we're here. And you can expect extraordinary care from physicians and nurses who are committed to our community. And to you. Because we know you. We're your friends. We're your neighbors. And we're your hospital. How do you measure the value of a college education? What are the values that give it worth? The rigorous pursuit of knowledge, the drive to innovate, the commitment to improving communities, and the courage to stand up and lead the way into a brighter tomorrow. These are the values of an East Carolina education. Come discover their true worth for yourself. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. The Ruffin McNeil Show continues with sponsorship by BB&T, sharing knowledge for a brighter direction, member FDIC, and by your local nationwide insurance agents. Welcome back to the show. It really was a tale of two halves for the Pirates. It was almost like once you guys got it going, then Ruff, uh, somebody flipped the switch, and uh, you really had all the momentum, so you go into the locker room at halftime very confident. Well, I just thought we, what we talked about. I uh, thought all three sides played off one another. I thought that was key. Uh, and belief in the details of the game plan. I was very, uh, I was proud to see that. And coaches didn't panic in the locker room on the sideline. Let's now roll those second half highlights. Picking up action now in the second half, and Summers starts the second half at quarterback for the Pirates, throws this one complete to Isaiah Jones. And this one rough goes for 29 yards, sets the tone here for the second half. Well, yeah, it's good. Good. James is able to throw, throw the football too, and well, it's a great toss. Great play by Zay, one of our leaders. And even a greater play by Zay here. This was an incredible catch. Look at how he controlled the ball. He tipped it from his right hand to his left hand, cradled the ball for the touchdown. That's one for the highlight tape. Yeah, that was a great job. Great job by James reading the coverage and finding leverage. And great catch by Zay. Pirates have all the momentum now. They lead 28-14, to 14, but the Hokies come right back as Ford goes over the right end for 10 yards. He's a really good receiver, a talented kid, and then Rodgers gets the ball down close to the goal line. He goes in from a couple of yards out. Hokies put one on the board. It's 28-21, so the Pirates need to answer, and they do that. James Summers goes for 12 yards on this one, rough on a third down and eight, pick it up the first down. Yeah, James uh, did that in high school, and he's a gamer as well. And then Quay Johnson gets another reception here. Another third down conversion on third down and six. This one goes for 17 yards. And then, Ruff, this was just an incredible run by James Summers. He runs with both power and speed. The stiff arm here into the middle of the field. He goes for 41 yards and the touchdown. Just a terrific run. I was proud of James. James did a good job. He's a and great teammate, uh, great teammate, and I'm uh, very glad he's on our football team. 35-21, Pirates with the lead, and then uh, the defense coming up big here. Trey Edmonds is a good back, and uh, he's tackled here for uh, no gain on the play. Jordan Williams and Richardson come up, make a really good play, and the Pirates end up uh, taking control of the football at the end of the third quarter. We move now to fourth quarter action, and what a big play here by Jordan Williams, his first pick as a Pirate on this third down and six, and boy, this was a big play. Yeah, good job by Jordan dropping the coverage, and uh, good to see him make that play. We needed it. This was a big play here. I know Dimitri McGill has really been playing well for you, rough at the nose guard position. He gets a big time sack here on a second and seven. Yeah, it's a big sack by uh, Dimitri. He and uh, Bam Bam Dimaj, they're doing a good job, man, that nose guard position for us. Doing a really good job. The Hokies will get the ball in the final possession. Ruff, uh, Motley throws this one in the middle of the field. It's uh, tipped up in the air, but it goes incomplete, and you guys get the victory. Yeah, I'm proud to get the win, and 24-hour uh, rule, looking forward to uh, traveling, uh, preparing for SMU. 
You can paint this one purple. Pirates win it 35 to 28. First great team win. We talked about frenzy. Y'all saw it tonight, didn't you? Yes, sir. Okay, don't forget how it feels. You got me? Yes, sir. There might be some lulls in it, but you came back and you came back and did it. You came back and made plays and you had to make plays. Yes, sir. Everybody rose up. I was proud of this entire team. Coaches there. Boy, great job. Well, I'm, I'm one blessed individual to have y'all. I ain't, I ain't got no better. Give them yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, Blake Kemp. You can't forget about Blake Kemp. He's a great guy. He's a good ball player. And he brought us back, you know what I mean? But they stepped, they had a, a couple of plays for me to run, and I stepped in, you know, we kept rolling with it. That was a game plan, you know what I mean? So, like I said, you got to give big ups to Blake Kemp because he got us going. James Summers had his breakout game. He ran for 169 yards. And, Ruff, we talk about the chemistry on this football team. The first thing he told us on the radio network, Blake Kemp. I want to thank Blake Kemp for his mm -hmm. contribution to the game. Yeah, that's how they are. I know. It's I get emotional because I really believe in that. So I, it doesn't, doesn't surprise me. But did James surprise you at all, or did you think he was capable of doing what he did? No, nah, yeah, we knew that. You just got to give him time. And, you know, you got you to be patient in this business. I've learned that 36 years. And, you know, want to give him, let him learn and feel comfortable with, with the offense. And, and Dave Nickel, I mentioned it before, is one of the best developers I've been around, player developer, development uh, of coaches I've been around. He can develop them. And he took his time, and get, we got James ready to play. And, and uh, I thought he used James' strength. You know, he, James can throw it as well, too. So the way he, he and Blake work together, I think it's key. We'll be back, and we'll have more with Ruff right after this. Article 3 in Golden Corral's Golden Bill of Rights. You have the right to food made fresh. And during breakfast for lunch and dinner, get a farm fresh breakfast that includes a cornucopia of over 16 farm fresh veggies, broccoli, corn on the cob, and more that all go perfectly with a made to order omelet. I'm going to let you check mine out. Get it? Omelet. Golden Corral, the best buffet in the USA. Eye Care Center, Eastern North Carolina's premier optometric specialists, have become one of the few in the nation to offer patients the most technologically advanced lenses on the market, enabling the personalization of progressive and single vision lenses with our exclusive digital surfacing process that delivers high-performance lenses with the most precision in their optical lab in Greenville. Call today to make your appointment for the most precise, accurate lenses on the market. Visit us in Washington, Williamson, Plymouth, and three locations in Greenville, 252-756-4204. Tired of hearing no? We, we say, say yes. yes. DriveHereNow.com is the source for your next ride. Four locations, over 250 vehicles. We got a ride for you. Greenville Motor Company. Memorial Drive. East Carolina Auto Exchange. Charles Boulevard. Washington Motor Company. Carolina Avenue. Kinston Auto Mart. Vernon Avenue. Cars, trucks, SUVs, motorcycles. We, we got them. Good, bad, slow, no credit. You're, you're approved. approved. Credit union financing to buy here, pay here. We, we do, do it all. all. Call 252-756-5100 to get riding now. Or online at DriveHereNow.com. from North Carolina's leader in distance education, a degree from an established university, an opportunity for a brighter future, a real option for adult learners. East Carolina University. If I give you this Bud Light, are you up for whatever happens next? Yes. The perfect beer for making memories in the middle of the night that become even better stories the next day. This is really happening to me. Like, let me pinch myself. It seems unreal. Are you serious? <laughs> Meeting Rhonda, I have no words for it. This is where you want to be at, and I'm here. That's crazy. Anything that you want, you dream it, you can have it. Anything can come true. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. That's how winning is done. 
The Play of the Week is sponsored by Pizza Hut. No one has more flavor. Summers is in the pocket. He's looking. Going to go with a fade route. Throws it out there. And it is juggled. He caught it. And it's caught. Touchdown, Pirates. Holy cow. Welcome back to the show. Blake Kemp has been pressed into service this year as the number one quarterback at ECU. He's done a fine job. And our Brian Bailey takes a look at the young man from Arizona. This week's Pirate Profile is brought to you by Quality Collision. More than a name, a commitment. Our Pirate Profile this week is with East Carolina quarterback Blake Kemp. And Blake, you've really embraced the role of starting quarterback and leader for this team, haven't you? Yes, sir. It's, uh, it's been a privilege and it's been a lot of fun, man. We just look forward to getting better. Now you're a communications major. What do you want to do when you get out of college? Uh, I'd like to uh, test for the fire department like my, my father did back home. And, um, you know, communications is everywhere, so it'll help out. Any chance maybe a sportscaster down the road? Yeah, I guess you never know, man. I mean, whatever happens, I mean, I really don't know for sure. But Talk about this team and this offense. How good can this offense be this year? Uh, really, the sky's the limit, man. We got we got so many good players up front on the offensive line and, and so many good receivers and um, and uh, and good coaches. So, I mean, really, um, we just got to keep improving. And um, like I said, the sky's the limit. How has the pressure been on you? Because it's a different role as a starting quarterback, isn't it? Yes, sir. Um, you know, you get more more feedback from friends and family and uh, people texting you telling you good luck so I mean it's kind of it's really cool to see um, all the people that, that support you and um, are looking forward to seeing you do good things. The last time East Carolina had a starting quarterback that was left-handed was 1998. Ernest Tennant, it's been a while. How does that role treat you? Oh man it's cool everywhere I've been I'm the first left-handed quarterback to play so I mean it's it's, it's really cool to uh, to bring that here. <laughs> all right that's our Pirate Profile this week. Blake Kemp. Five. Today we're with Sean Furlow. Sean's already demonstrated that he's going to be an exceptional running back in the future for the Pirates. Today what we're going to do is we're going to work on his lower body a little bit. Uh, Sean right now weighs about 187. We want to get him up to about 195 to 200 pounds. Uh, he already has a lot of great favorable attributes with uh, being able to shake a defender and also with his linear speed. So now what we got to do is we got to build up his lower body. We're going to take a look at the kettlebell swing today and basically what we're going to do is we're going to teach Sean how to hinge his hips more effectively. Okay, let's get about five reps. That's it, push back. Good. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to do the outlaw swing. We noticed with the regular swing that Sean was still squatting a little bit. What we want to do is we want him to hinge his hips straight back. So I'm going to assist him in the outlaw swing. Hopefully we can get that accomplished with this exercise. Sit straight back. There you go. One more. Good. Okay, next exercise is going to be a rear foot elevated single leg squat. That's a great exercise to isolate the leg and also we're gonna get a great range of motion so we work the glute. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, good. Okay, so we feel like if we can get Sean up to about 195, 200, that he's gonna be very effective. And we basically want that weight to be in his lower body. So we're gonna continue to target his lower body uh, with the exercises specifically that we think will help him. Camp Connors is brought to you by these local nationwide insurance agents. <laughs> In the nation, if you celebrate it, Nationwide protects it. We put members first. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. To join the nation, call your local Nationwide agent, Ramey Steins in Greenville, or Rob Jones in Dunn. 4x4s, Four of course we love them. They're not just transportation, they're freedom machines. They take us where other vehicles can't. So when you want that liberated feeling, come to our store. Phelps Chevrolet in Greenville. 
You'll find the vehicle you want because we have a large selection, and you'll find the price and financing you want too. Most of all, you'll find the customer service you want. Phelps Chevrolet in Greenville. Come in and get you one. Come in today or see us on the web. If you could download 25 songs in one second, you'd listen to more new music. If you could download a TV episode in two seconds, you'd watch more hit shows. If you could download an HD feature film in just 42 seconds, you'd see more great movies. And if you had powerful one gig speed from Summonlink, you'd be more connected than anyone. Announcing one gig internet only from Suddenlink. More power to you. Building wealth is an ongoing journey. Every step you take should lead in the right direction. At BB&T Wealth, we've spent more than 140 years sharing knowledge and helping clients plan, getting to know you as well as we know your life goals. With the strength of our experience on your side, you have the confidence to make the best financial decisions from one generation to the next. Because the rewards of managing wealth wisely should always be close. BB&T Wealth, sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. There's nothing like football in the East. Friday nights in hometowns. Saturdays at Dowdy Ficklin. From the lessons learned on the field to the wisdom passed down by coaches. Fighting for school pride and leaving it all on the field. This is Eastern North Carolina. This is our home. This is not on your side. How do you measure the value of a college education? What are the values that give it worth? The rigorous pursuit of knowledge, the drive to innovate, the commitment to improving communities, and the courage to stand up and lead the way into a brighter tomorrow. These are the values of an East Carolina education. Come discover their true worth for yourself. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. This week's Look Ahead is brought to you by the Eye Care Center. Eye doctors focused on you and the official eye care provider of the Pirates. Back on the road again for the Pirates and East Carolina getting a lot of frequent flyer miles these days, Rough, and it's down to Dallas to take on SMU. Chad Morris's team, he's brought a lot of enthusiasm, excitement to Mustang football. He's a good ball coach. He coached in Texas, so he's got those ties there. Uh, he's got a good, really good football team. I know he's going to be able to break by break. Uh, Chad has earned that spot and, and earned the head coaching opportunity. Done a great job as assistant, so I'm proud of Chad. In just another week, you guys will be back chopping wood, won't you, this yeah, week? Yeah, we got to start chopping tomorrow. We've got 24 <laughs> hours, so we'll be ready to go. Okay, Ruff, congratulations. What a great win. Thanks, JC. Love you, brother. That's the head coach of the Pirates, Ruff and McNeil. Join us next week. Our report from Dallas as the Pirates take on SMU. Have a great week, Eastern Carolina. The Ruff and McNeil Show has been presented by U.S. Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of the ECU Pirates. The Ruffin McNeil Show is an exclusive presentation of IMG, America's home for college sports.